$300 a day for a non-union commercial versus $300 a week for a union theater gig. What? This is something that never has made sense to me. Go back and watch her video. But basically what she's saying is that you can make $300 a week as an equity union actor for, which is crazy, but also make $300 a day doing a non-union commercial or UGC video or whatever side hustle you have going on. It's not hard to make $300 a day for one little short gig that takes maybe a few hours of work. Meanwhile, people who have worked their whole career to become part of the union, to be equity, and yet can't make a living wage, $300 a week? $300 a week? Do you understand that people in New York City are spending $1,500 a month just to have four other roommates in order to live and be a professional in New York City? I mean, that's why I moved to Vegas so that I can buy a home and like, but that's another topic for another day. But somebody needs to make it make sense. How is the union allowing this? This isn't rhetorical. This is a real question. How is it possible that a non-union commercial can pay three to $700 a day, but a union job in the theater can get away with sometimes $275 a week. I've seen it. <sighs> Help.